Welcome back to my shop everyone. I'm Bobby Sharp. This episode covers the building of a crosscut circular saw guide. Okay, now I have all of the pieces cut out. As you can see, there's just three, so it's kind of simple. So we have a piece of three-quarter MDF. This will be uh, glued and screwed to the bottom of the piece of quarter-inch plywood. This will create a T-square, uh, if you will. I've also uh, cut out the straight edge for the saw to ride against, just like the other um, track saw or doorboard, but I've added some uh, slots in here, and this is so that when this is assembled, uh, the, uh, the edge board will be right over the edge of this. The openings are just so that it gives us an opportunity to, to uh, do some clamping on narrower boards that were, or narrower sheet goods that we're going to cut. All right, so this has got glue on it. I have marks on here. This edge needs to be lined up to these marks very, very accurately. Okay, when I presented all three pieces, I've I had forgotten to put in these two inch holes here near the bottom and I'll explain what these holes are used for a little bit later. Okay so you've probably been wondering how I was going to square up the straight edge to the saw, the saw guide edge and I'm using a piece of two foot by four foot quarter inch MDF. I have checked this thing every way I know how and I know that it is square. Measuring it crossways, using the squares I have in my shop, doing some measurement and calculations, it is square. So I have lined up the saw guide edge to the edge of the MDF and then uh, this surface will just be lined up with the bottom edge or the two foot edge along this way. All right, so I guess I'll let this dry uh, for a little bit.
I think it's ready. Let's see this thing in action. Okay, earlier I had mentioned the two two-inch holes. Well, if you can see, the fence, or the straight edge that I'm calling the fence, is kind of sticking out on the bottom side of the opening of the hole. And that is so that when you slide it against the piece you're cutting, you can see that there's not a gap. So if we didn't have this, you know, you'd have to look at the edges. But this is just a quick visual that, hey, this is, it's up against the fence. Uh, as soon as we get it clamped here and here and over on the other side, we can, we can make our cut and know that it's up against the fence, or the fence is up against the piece that we're cutting, and we're good to go. Also, you can see that this is a 30 and a half inch piece. It's the piece that we cut off last week with the uh, making of the, the uh, eight foot long doorboard. But you see here, I have an opportunity to put a clamp uh, either, either on the side here or on top of the fence. Um, and I can clamp this nice and secure as well, and it won't slide around. And I can see that the guide is up against the edge of the, of the uh, piece we're going to cut, and we're good to go. So now let's make some test cuts and see how accurate this circular saw crosscut guide really is. So let's just put this on the edge here. First, I'm just going to check it with a square. Very nice that way. All right, so this board is for another project, so I'm gonna check my measurements and flip it around and I'll cut the, uh, make the second cut to, for this board to its final size and I can check it from corner to corner and see how accurate that is. So that is 75 and two, four, six, seven sixteenths, 75 and seven sixteenths. Seventy-five and three eighths, so we're a sixteenth short there. But that's probably as accurate as I could get using the factory edge and uh, measuring and and eyeballing things and setting up the uh, the uh, track saw guide, the circular saw guide, and making cuts in the past. So that's just as accurate as what I was doing before. This is a lot faster though. Well, I appreciate you stopping by my channel and checking out this week's episode. Hopefully, the Crosscut Circular Saw Guide can be used in your shop, and I hope you have an opportunity to build yourself one. I have some other videos queued up here that I think you might enjoy. Again, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.